And at Commander's ready to finish celebrating the Winter Olympics with today's game, Winter Challenge, for your Sega Genesis. So let's go ahead and take Winter Challenge. Let's pop it in my Sega Genesis and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Winter Challenge, aka the game's Winter Challenge, was published by Accolade under the Ballistics label and carries a copyright year of 1992. According to the manual, man is not by nature a cold weather animal. Man is, however, a fiercely competitive animal. And when there's ice and snow, there's a lifestyle steeped in athletic tradition. People born and bred with what Scandinavians call the hunger, a burning desire to challenge the mountain and test the limits of human endurance. They travel to the coldest regions of the world from snowy peak to icy tundra. They meet sled to sled, blade to blade, ski to ski. They soar, slide, sail, and glide to glory. It's been happening for hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years. And now finally, it's your turn. Welcome to Winter Challenge. You hold in your hand a piece of the tradition. Immerse yourself, explore the hallowed history of these winter sports, then get ready to lay it all on the line. Because once the hunger takes hold, there's no turning back. Wow, that last line almost makes this game sound like a horror movie. Winter Challenge is a Winter Olympic style game with eight events for one to ten players alternating. You can either run through all the events with the game giving you passwords if you want to quit in the middle, or you can train on a single event at a time. You can also name your character, choose their country, and pick one of a group of faces. When you go through the tournament, the computer will fill in any non human players with computer opponents, and you can select their skill from amateur to professional to world class. Humans take turns during each event, but computer players are not shown. There is an instant replay available, and at the end of each event, medals are awarded. There are also course records for each event that can be replaced with better ones. You can exit events in progress by pressing A and C at the same time. The controls for each event varies and come separate from the manual in a cardboard foldout. In the luge, you press up to start and left and right to steer. In downhill skiing, you press A, B, or up to start, hold down A, B, or up to tuck, left or right to steer while either tucked or untucked, and down to slow down. Cross country skiing controls largely the same, but you use the C button to push with your poles, which gets you moving but costs energy, and A and B when going downhill to use your poles to gain speed. In the bobsled, you press A or B rapidly to start running, up to board the bobsled, down to brake and left or right to steer. In speed skating, you press A or B to start, but if you start too soon, you can have a false start, and A or B rapidly to skate while left and right is used to steer. The giant slalom controls just like downhill skiing, but you need to go in between gates. The biathlon works just like cross-country skiing, but from time to time you will need to do some target shooting. By using the D-pad to aim, with the aim affected by fatigue, and either A, B, or C to shoot. Missed targets cost 15 seconds if you hit the gray or 30 seconds if you hit the white. And in ski jump you start with up and use left and right to steer and down at the end of the ramp to take off. While in flight, up and down is used to adjust your skis and you press A or B to land. Graphically speaking, the game has a nice opening ceremony, and when paused, the game looks okay, but it looks really choppy during the gameplay, and your character sometimes even looks goofy. Sound and music-wise, the game has some decent computer-sounding music, but the sound effects seem pretty sparse. Family-friendly-wise, if released today, this game would most likely get an E for everyone rating. At the time of my research on eBay, including shipping, loose copies were going for $4 to $6.00. Complete copies were going for 8 to 12, and one new copy sold for 35. So what did I think of Winter Challenge? Well, let me start by saying I enjoyed playing winter games on the Atari 7800 growing up, so I was looking forward to seeing what a similar game would be like with some 16-bit blast processing power. But unfortunately, Winter Challenge fails to come anywhere close to winter games as far as gameplay and fun is concerned. Events with cross-country skiing are simply boring and a bit of a chore to play. Going through the gates in the slalom was also also frustrating as it was hard to see where they were going to be coming up. And the two events I looked forward to playing the most, the bobsled and the luge, started out fine until I wiped out in the second half of the course and wasn't sure why. It's like I tripped over an invisible rock. And overall, the game lacked atmosphere during the events as I often felt like I was in a bleak, barren, cold world. In the end, Winter Challenge took the fun of Winter Games and turned it into a bleak, choppy mess that wasn't fun to play. So where am I going to rank Winter Challenge? Somewhere near the the bottom. It's not quite as bad as the awful Mighty Max at 24, but I would 
would rather play F15 Strike Eagle 2 at 23. So out of the 27 games I'm now ranked on the Sega Genesis, Winter Challenge is false starting into the 24 position. Winter Challenge fails to medal. At least that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please click like and subscribe and follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. I'm also a member of the Retro Junkies Network. At this time, I'd like to thank all of my extraordinary Patreon supporters, including Antonio. Thank you, Antonio. If you appreciate the work I do and enjoy my videos, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter by signing up at patreon.com slash gamer starting at a single dollar a month. Not only will you help make videos like this possible, but you will also gain access to some exclusive content. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care and go play some winter games on the mighty Atari 7800.